Hello, we present today the applications of safety necks in the automotive industry, and in particular, vocal driving assistance, advanced driver assistance systems, and autonomous vehicles. I will let professionals in the automotive sector express themselves so that they can explain their issues, their expectations, and the interest they have found in safety necks. To start, let's talk to an automotive engineer working on cockpit comfort aboard new vehicles. How do you use safety necks? Hello, I am an automotive engineer, and I'm currently working on the development of an artificial intelligence-based vocal driving assistant. I want to guide driver, filter information to prevent from looking at dashboard. I also want to cancel stress, and I try to minimize the amount of information driver has to deal with by constantly picking the needed key information, depending on context. And I recently discovered safety necks that can be integrated as an API into any of my computer programs. Safety Next estimates driving risk 20 times per second, and as far as I know, it is the only module in the world that can do that. I use this risk estimation to alert driver if and only if driver tends to take a little too much risk because he or she is upset or late or just inattentive. I alert driver that becomes then aware of the actual driving risk and that slows down. Caution intersection. Then I go on giving useful information with my driving assistant that offers many other features. Obviously at times when driving risk is high, I know that it is important not to distract driver with other information or with phone calls or messages. All this can wait until driving risk is low. So I develop a logic of artificial intelligence that relies, among other things, on the API safety necks. And I'm not the only one in my company to use safety necks. The teams that automate the intelligent vehicle, ADAS Autonomous Vehicle, have also started using it. Hello, I'm an engineer in the smart robotized vehicle, and indeed, I also use safety necks. My job is not to alert the driver, but rather to give anticipating capabilities to the vehicle. When I see that driving risk rises a little too much, I automatically slow down the vehicle smoothly, which avoids an emergency braking situation, for example, so I increase both safety and comfort. And whether for an ACC or for an autonomous vehicle, I can regulate speed with only two lines of code. If the risk is too high, then slow down. If the risk is low, then accelerate. I have two control parameters that are first, the speed limit, and second, the maximum accepted risk. By changing this maximum accepted risk, I can simply modulate the aggressiveness of my robotic vehicle. The contribution of safety necks is completely innovative in the world of robotic vehicles. And since safety necks already integrates all the risk factors of the infrastructure, I can develop robust autonomous vehicles that can evolve safely in urban areas. Thank you very much. I think you have very clearly described your safety necks applications. I would like now to ask a director at a car manufacturer what interests him the most in safety necks. Hello. As a director, I am interested in technical objects of the automotive sector, but also in the value chain of mobility. A modern vehicle is designed to target a specific segment of customers. For this, we determine what the expectations of the market segment are. For example, comfort, sportiness, urban use or long trips, etc. The segment is also defined by a price. The price that drivers in this segment are willing to pay to meet their expectations. I cannot increase this price. Otherwise, I am no longer addressing the target customer segment. In other words, it means that I can put all the technology I want into my vehicle, but it will not really allow me to increase the selling price. It is not the driver who will pay for these ADAS and autonomous vehicle technologies. 
Since we claim that the highly robotic vehicle will avoid human error and be safer, it means that accident rates will be lower. We must therefore negotiate with insurance companies that will benefit from this reduction in the number of accidents in order to capture a share of this value in partnership with them. Having inside my vehicles a tool like SafetyNex that is already used by car insurers to record risk profiles of human drivers allows me to have simple and effective communications with them. It's just ideal for a car manufacturer. Thank you. I think it was very interesting. SafetyNex really has a lot of applications in the automotive sector. I'll come back to you in the next episode to present more applications of SafetyNex. Goodbye and see you soon.